6 Unbelievable Facts About Egypt The land of the pharaohs is famous for its huge pyramids, its bandaged mummies and its golden treasures. But how much do you really know about ancient Egypt? Here, Egyptologist Joyce, shares 6 lesser known facts Ancient Egypt stood as one of the world's most advanced civilizations for nearly 3,000 years and created a culture so rich that it has spawned its own field of study. But while Egyptian art, architecture and burial methods have become enduring objects of fascination, there is still a lot you probably don't know about these famed builders of the pyramids. From the earliest recorded peace treaty to ancient board games, here is the list of six lesser knowing facts about Egypt. 1. Egyptian children wore no clothing at all, until they were in their teens. The temperature in Egypt made it unnecessary. Adult men wore skirts while women wore dresses. 2. Egyptian women had a wide range of rights and freedoms. While they may have been publicly and socially viewed as inferior to men, Egyptian women enjoyed a great deal of legal and financial independence. They could buy and sell property, serve on juries, make wills and even enter into legal contracts. Egyptian women did not typically work outside the home, but those who did usually received equal pay for doing the same jobs as men. Unlike the women of ancient Greece, who were effectively owned by their husbands, Egyptian women also had the right to divorce and remarry. Egyptian couples were even known to negotiate an ancient prenuptial agreement. These contracts listed all the property and wealth the woman had brought into the marriage and guaranteed that she would be compensated for it in the event of a divorce. 3. The pyramids were not built by slaves. The life of a pyramid builder certainly wasn't easy skeletons of workers commonly show signs of arthritis and other ailments but evidence suggests that the massive tombs were built not by slaves but by paid laborers. These ancient construction workers were a mix of skilled artisans and temporary hands, and some appear to have taken great pride in their craft. Graffiti found near the monument suggests they often assigned humorous names to their crews like the drunkards of Mankor or the friends of Khufu. The idea that slaves built the pyramids at the crack of a whip was first conjured by the Greek historian Herodotus in the 5th century BC, but most historians now dismiss it as myth. While the ancient Egyptians were certainly not averse to keeping slaves, they appear to have mostly used them as field hands and domestic servants. 4. Egyptians of both sexes wore makeup. Vanity is as old as civilization, and the ancient Egyptians were no exception. Both men and women were known to wear copious amounts of makeup, which they believed gave them the protection of the gods Horus and Ra. These cosmetics were made by grinding ores like malachite and galena into a substance called coal. It was then liberally applied around the eyes with utensils made out of wood, bone and ivory. Women would also stain their cheeks with red paint and use henna to color their hands and fingernails, and both sexes wore perfumes made from oil, myrrh and cinnamon. The Egyptians believed their makeup had magical healing powers, and they weren't entirely wrong research has shown that the lead-based cosmetics worn along the Nile actually help stave off eye infections. 5. The living shared food with the dead? The tomb was designed as an eternal home for the mummified body and the cost spirit that lived beside it. An accessible tomb chapel allowed families, well-wishers and priests to visit the deceased and leave the regular offerings that the car required, while a hidden burial chamber protected the mummy from harm. Within the tomb chapel, food and drink were offered on a regular basis. Having been spiritually consumed by the Ka, they were then physically consumed by the living. During the Feast of the Valley, an annual festival of death and renewal, many families spent the night in the tomb chapels of their ancestors. The hours of darkness were spent drinking and feasting by torchlight as the living celebrated their reunion with the dead. 6. Few Egyptian men married their sisters. Some of Egypt's kings married their sisters or half-sisters. These incestuous marriages ensured that the queen was trained in her duties from birth, and that she remained entirely loyal to her husband and their children. They provided appropriate husbands for princesses who might otherwise remain unwed, while restricting the number of potential claimants for the throne. They even provided a link with the gods, several of whom like Isis and Osiris enjoyed incestuous unions. However, Brother-sister marriages were never compulsory, 
and some of Egypt's most prominent queens including Nefertiti were of non-royal birth. Incestuous marriages were not common outside the royal family until the very end of the dynastic age. The restricted Egyptian kingship terminology father, mother, brother, sister, son and daughter being the only terms used, and the tendency to apply these words loosely so that sister could with equal validity describe an actual sister, a wife or a lover, has led to a lot of confusion over this issue. So this, is the list of 6 unbelievable facts about Egypt, if you like our video, thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, so you will not miss any future video, thank you for being with us.